Good morning. It is 7.40 in the morning. Um, I've just finished um, taking my yogurt off that was uh, going overnight when the little jars. Uh, but I'm, I've actually run out of um, cereal so or granola. So I'm going to make that. And I don't use a thermomix for a lot of this, but it's a really nice recipe. So I thought I would just show you what I do. So first of all, I'm using, um, I go to the, um, the sauce now and I get all my um, mixed nuts and things in there. I'm going to tip all of these into the thermomix bowl. Okay. And I actually went, see, I, we, we get through a lot of honey. This wombat honey is available in East Gippsland. There's a little um, hut with bees or <laughs> the big bee painted on it where you can buy it from. So um, I'm going to put some more nuts in there. I haven't chopped them up. I actually like it quite chunky. And this is a Brazil nut, my favourite. Oh, I've grown it. So. Just going to chop them. Oops. On speed five. I'm going to go two seconds speed five again. Okay. Same as with the food. That's all I need. Right. But let me show you my cupboard. Up here, one ingredient pantry. All right. So, what else is going in is coconut. I've got some um, shredded coconut. And this, you know, there is actually is a recipe, but I've made this a lot. So, um, just tuck stuff in basically. So, that was the flake coconut. And there's, sorry, that's the shredded coconut. And I'm putting some flake coconut in as well. Again, you can get all these things from the source. Just take your own containers. Um, then I've got sunflower seeds. They're going in. I've got pumpkin seeds. And those. I've got linseed somewhere. I'm out of many seats. I'll go around here. So I've got some little hemp seeds. I could use those, but I'm going to save them for something else. Um, must have run out of many seeds there. Chia seeds. Again, uh, these were originally from the raw nut, but um, I'll just take my container now, fill it up. Chia seeds in there. I've got a mixture of um, white chia and black chia. Okay, so that's that. I will just see if I've got any more um, lean seeds. No, it's okay. All right, then I do put a little bit of coconut sugar in. So um, when our son was here with us, he said it needed a little bit of sugar in his mouth. So I do just put a little bit in. That's just coconut sugar. So I'm going to stir that all up here. And then the last thing I'm going to do here is hopefully that's some of my I've got this huge jar of um, coconut oil, and you just basically put some coconut oil in it. So I had to just try and melt a little bit of that or make it sure it's runny enough. So 
that's quite running. Put that in there. Yeah. Then I'm going to mix it all up. I could could have melted the um, coconut oil in the thermi if I'd wanted to, but there's quite a volume here. Um, so I was going to have to mix it up in the bowl anyway. All right. So that's all mixed up. For the next job, I'm not actually going to cook it now, but I, it will be cooked. Um, we're just going to take the dog out for a walk shortly. So I'll just put this back. I'm going to put it on oven tray with one of the oven mats on it. Very well used oven mats. You could also put, I mean, you know, you can, you can decide exactly what you put in. You could, if you wanted to, chop up some dates or something first um, and put them in. Now, there's quite a lot here, so I will actually do this over two trays because I think it, it cooks a bit better. So that's going to go in the oven. It's about, I think it says 160 in the recipe, but I always get a bit impatient. I'd rather it just does its thing and cooks more quickly. So that will go in the oven. Um, I usually put it on 180, I think. Roughly about right there. Anyway, you know, if you're used to baking, it's going to go in the oven. You're just going to give it a little bit of turnover. It'll brown. You have to let it cool, absolutely cool, before you store it. And the other thing I will add in there um, once it's cooked is some goji berries. So there you go. Now you know what I have for breakfast. Um, this granola, homemade granola, the homemade yogurt, and um, I'm actually I've got some cut up mango left over from my class on the weekend. So um, looking forward to breakfast. Have a great day.